Uh, I didn't actually do an introduction for this, and I probably should do an introduction now. Well, not really an introduction, just a reminder that you are tuning into the Geeks of the Roundtable live stream uh, video thing. Well, it's a live stream now, but it'll be a video whenever I release it. This episode, like, part of this, uh, part of this playthrough is probably out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be fired. One way or another, I'm gonna be fired. Um, probably tomorrow. Or, I don't think Mike's on right now to fire me right now. But, I will be fired from the Geeks of the Roundtable. And then, immediately reinstated. Um, basically, I... I get fired, I get the severance package of a middle finger, and then I'm rehired. Because that's just how we roll in the Geeks of the Round Table. Um, only with me, though. I don't think anybody else gets fired quite as often as I do. Or at all, actually. Um, I guess I'm just the bad boy of the Geeks of the Round Table. Even though I'm pretty, pretty lame uh, in regards of everything. But uh, where the hell are we going next here? We're back here. <sighs> Wait. We haven't faced Krokemeyer yet, but we're back here. Why? Weird. Okay, I don't I don't freaking know. <laughs> no! I'm Ross? Oh, come on! Well, I guess it's not really a terrible thing, because Ross is pretty funny. Um... Though I don't think uh, me being sad has the same effect as a sad Ross. Um, sad Ross is devastating. I will admit that. I have, I have, I've seen footage of a sad Ross, and it just makes me really sad. Um, I, I'm really feeling like I didn't do something or I missed something here. I, I'm really getting that feeling right now that I'm that I missed something or I didn't do something because I should have fought Krokemeyer by now I think. <laughs> he can dr he yeah he can drink fast. Um, he, th he there's apparently I'm not sure where this is from because I never saw this video, but there was something where he was like chugging a bottle of Jack. Hang on. Uh-oh. Mike is active on the Skype, so I don't know if he'll be... It, he probably won't be showing up here, though, because he's been on my live streams, like, twice so far. And it's probably getting annoying. But, uh... Oh. Ah, the Skype conversation is happening now. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, Mask of the Phantasm. Okay. He, he's talking about... Uh, he's talking about things that I don't need to bring up here because it's happening in a totally different conversation independent of the live stream. Uh, this is how you can tell I'm flagging. I'm talking about things that are totally unrelated to what's going on in the current situation. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, now it's time to get a thing over here. <laughs> At least now I'm talking about something that's happening in the game, even though it's like... Oh. Here we go. I'm not going to do that. I promised I wouldn't do that, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but what are you going to... Oh, yes! We got our first reserve tank. Which, these things are pretty rad. Um, if you die, you don't die. And that's pretty handy. And also, like I said, every time there's a secret and there aren't any missiles nearby, look for missiles, because you're going to find them. And also... Why not? Oh, look at that. Missiles on missiles. We got... we got. I heard you like missiles, so we put missiles on your missiles. I'm sorry for making that joke. So anyway, back to the idea of being the Ross of the Geeks of the Roundtable. Uh, you'll actually have to ask Mike that for me. See if that's 
that's a thing. See if that's actually what's going on. Ask Mike if I'm the Ross of the Geeks of the Round Table. Yes! Oh, you're just telling him. You're just like, yeah, he's he's the Ross of the Geeks now. You're not asking him. You're just like, dude, listen. <laughs> so it it is now. Uh, well, it it has been uh, it has been set into motion where I'm possibly the the Ross of the Geeks now. Um, the motion just has to be seconded and then um, passed. I guess. All right, I can go. I think this is where I needed the power bomb to continue. Just so often I forget what the controls are. And it gets embarrassing. Oh, this part! Crap! And I walked into it willingly. Oh, Christ. Fortunately, you don't actually have to deal with it. I kind of figured out. Okay. This part... Right here? No! Oh! How did I do that? How did I jump off the collapse block? I sh I squandered that, by the way. This is, this is gonna be a little to-do, so... Actually, it's, uh... Uh, Barry put that in. Barry's the editor. Ross is just the... If I was if I was the Barry of the Geeks of the Round Table, you best believe they ain't gonna be calling me Ross. <laughs> Cause Barry is just the coolest character or not character, but he's the coolest guy ever, from what I can tell. Um I can't really make too many statements on him as a guy, but from what from what I from what I pick up from watching the videos and watching him interact with fans and stuff, Barry's a pretty stand up guy, so Barry, you just keep burying. And that is a verb, because he is Barry. And he is all that is good. Oh, uh-oh. There's more. Yeah, yeah. Tell, uh, just let him know that, yeah, the live stream's still going on. And if he wants in, he's more than welcome. Oh, I should be focusing more on that than trying to get more fucking people in here. Oh, no. I just did that. Oh, shit. Okay, I might as well just attract him. Yeah, tell him he's more than like he's. I'm sorry for using you like a fucking. <laughs> Matt is the new telephone. Yeah, if you want it, if you want in, tell him to just join the vent and come on in. Okay, this is the most detestable part. Holy shit. Um. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say there's no way I was gonna get that on the first try. That never happens. Oh, okay. Mike is currently... Geekasaurus Mike is currently working on a video, which means there could be a... There could be a release at some point from, uh... Oops. Geekasaurus Mike. That's what I should be doing. I should be writing a script. But the game I reviewed is so god-awful, so bad, that I have no idea... No, I... <laughs> Alright. Where are we? Jump right there! <laughs> okay. I'm just not absorbing when to jump here. So I need to... be a little more observant. Okay, looks like the job starts four before the energy tank. <laughs> Alright. It's very pertinent information. <laughs> well, there's no. Ah. 
I chose a bad night to to stream, I guess, because everybody's bu it's late and everybody's busy, and I'm just just sitting here playing Super Metroid. <laughs> Oops. Oh, because I don't have the high jump boots on, so I'm not getting the height. Though honestly, I think the high jump boots hinder the. All right, I'm getting that energy tank. That's pretty much the whole point of this, is I'm getting that goddamn energy tank. Okay, so... Yeah! Do you see that? Yeah! Yeah! That's that. Those are the skills that pays the bills, ladies and gentlemen. Those. That's the reason why you came. That's why you're all here. All. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I have viewers. One of them's Matt, and the other one's a legitimate viewer. But they are here to see things like that. Skills. Pay the bills. Or no, they don't. <laughs> I got a little too excited there. But can you blame me? This game has, like, some of the... Some things are hard. Some things are so hard in this game, but... They're, they're a lot more possible than... The, like, I can't... I can't say that the original Metroid is impossible, because I've seen it... I've seen it beat. I've seen it finished. I've seen it beat. I've seen it finished, so... I know it's not impossible. But I just... Oh my god, it's just so frustrating to start. It's one of those games where you got to practice to even start playing it, you know? And uh, I'm just not practiced enough with it yet. I may, in my own free time, continue to try it out. But it makes me so angry, because it's not like one of those games where it's like, you know, the, the difficulty curves a little bit, where you start out and you can actually do some things, and it's alright. It's just, it's just a straight fucking holy hell yeah did you see who's who's you know what we're gonna i'm just gonna bask in that for a second i'm gonna bask in that yeah i did that no like the, the big deal is um wall jumping is really hard to control and especially in especially with using the wii classic controller it's it's pretty gnarly because it's so like I said earlier, it's digital, it doesn't have the same feel. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't looking. I just wall jumped like I'd done it my entire life. I just did the wall jump up the pit like it was something out of This looks suspicious. Like it was something I've been doing like my birthright, I think. Okay, that that looks suspicious, but there's nothing there, I guess. Is there anything here? Okay, no. Oops. All right. I guess the next thing we're going to do is over there. There are a few secrets over there that actually come to think of it I can't do yet because I don't have the grappling beam. But uh Okay, so this game uh this game traps you right here, very interestingly enough, where you have the it teaches you at this point that you have to be careful where you use this speed boost. Because check this out. I just trapped myself. See? Now I'm down in this pit with no way out. And see, like the other time I was stuck in a pit, I was accompanied by a creature that's teaching me what to do. But actually, I now have options as to what I can do. But the, the, the wall jumping isn't quite as, you know, good. Well, I guess if you one wall wall jump, but I'm not very good with that, and it's a long ways to go. But this is another part that teaches you that there are other ways to get around and other ways to do things. Actually, no. There is a game that has a much easier wall jump. Um, actually, I don't know about the new Super Mario, but the easiest wall jump is Metroid Other M. Taking the principle of the Metroid wall jump, and instead of making it so you have to like switch directions at just the right time to go the other way, 
like this one is. Because you have to wait until... I'm going to go back into the, the wall jump here. Like, you have to see Samus make that change in animation before you can jump to the next one. And it's like split second or you miss it and fall. But in Other M... And this is why that game is such a tragedy. Because it has great gameplay. It's streamlined. You know, a lot of the Metroid controls. But it's still a hot fucking mess. Um... Whoa, sorry. I just fucking brain farted there for a second. No, but, uh... It, it's a mess because... This... Well, we're not talking about why it's a mess. We already talked about why it's a mess. What we're talking about is the... <laughs> sorry! Um... I got... I got... I'll get used to this. I'll get used to doing this. I promise. I... I just haven't... I've never really done this. Because most of the time, whenever I'm, like, gaming and talking, I'm talking to someone... And we're just talking about stupid stuff, and it just kind of... It's been a long time since I've even done that. But I will get better at doing this. I can promise that um, at the streaming thing, because I'm really excited about it. I have a lot of games to play. And... Sorry, I just got a little distracted there because I was into that, but... How could I forget about this when I was here earlier? But this is a shortcut. And another thing you'll notice about power bombs is whenever you find them, use them immediately. Because there's an incredibly good chance that they're somewhere where they can be used. Like right here. But that doesn't really... That has no use for us at the moment because we actually have to go in a totally different direction. <laughs> what was I talking about? Fuck. Uh... Matt, viewer, what, what was I talking about before I lost it? Oh, uh, wall jumping. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, with Metroid, it's just you initiate the wall jump by jumping onto the wall and then just keep pressing the button and holding the direction and you'll just keep jumping back and forth. Like, that was great. You know, that made things a lot easier because uh, it was one of those mechanics in this game that was a little too complicated. Like, it's doable, as I've shown, and I'm completely incompetent, if you can't tell, but I can do it just fine. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to say something? Trying to say uh, Super Nintendo is kind of limited in varieties? I can't help but think that I'm missing something. That I, I just totally flew past something that I shouldn't have. Or is that in... Uh, Later on. I think it's in Norfair that I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, the thing I'm thinking of is in Norfair. And is Norfair down this way? Yes. Okay, Norfair is down this way. See, usually I don't play this game in such large spurts. Because then I just get lost way too easily. Because I just remember so many things I have to do. Because it's just like Metroid 1 in the aspect that you have a certain route that you take. Oh, and you know what else is amazing whenever it comes to the Super Bomb? Is the healing power in this game. I still have no idea how to do it to this day. Like, to do the, the bomb healing? Alright, this is a place where the high jump is a hindrance. My reserve tanks aren't... My reserve tank is Yeah, there's a, there's a technique that was actually revealed in the comic where you can use the power bombs to heal. If you had so many power bombs and were so low on energy, then you would use a power bomb and do a certain thing, and it would heal you. And it wasn't only in the comic. It was in the, the, the opening demos. Because you know how this game, like, if you just let it set on the title screen, it'll show you how to, like, shine spark and... It'll show you how to do certain parts of the game that look weird, like wall jumping and stuff. Like, it'll have little, like, demos of that. And one of the demos is using the power bomb to heal. And I've never done that. I have no idea how to do that. And, honestly, the opportunities never come up. Because usually I'm pretty decked out uh, um, with using, playing this game. I'm usually pretty good. Okay, so we got... 
one secret going over here, but I don't think we got the other one. So let's get the other one now. But okay. All right. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Yes. Got to clear the launch pad here. Though I will say one thing about this game. Um, you don't really have to be as skilled to play this one as you did with the original Metroid. Because, oh god damn, this part. Because if you get it, though this game has a lot of different, like there's falling in the original Metroid, but there were a lot more consequences with just falling blindly in that game because... Right. Because there was you couldn't jump down. But in this game, you can jump down so you can blindly fall, just free fall. Um, oh, yeah. Guess what's happening soon. I think it's happening soon. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that green door is a something. But I want to investigate a little bit before I do it. Because I do not have the grappling beam yet. And I would much rather do that with the grappling beam. Even though I think I have to finish it before I get it. But I just keep going off on tangents whenever I see new things. I'm too excited about this game. I like it way too much. Um, I didn't get it that long ago, like whenever I repurchased it, I didn't get it very long ago for the Wii, and I've just been I, I played it, and then I, after I watched the Game Grumps play it, and that just made me even more excited about it and it's just like, wow this game is still amazing, and I beat it and I was happy, and I'm playing it now, and I'm still happy okay, there we go holy hell, what's going on here? Ah, uh, this part's hard. No. Um, well, it's just the idea that those things there are pretty much untouchable until you get plasma, which is the next weapon upgrade. Can I even... I can't even freeze them. Okay, there we go. What is this working towards? I have no idea. Uh... Oh, that was useless. <laughs> oh, I'm wasting everybody's time now. See, I really wish I could beat this game in like less than two hours or whatever it is to get like the best ending. But I never could. I'm just so obsessed with finding everything. And, you know, just... And I can't even 100% it either, so I fail at that too. Um, okay, so I need the grappling beam to go. See, it lets you go a lot of different places, but it gives you definite boundaries. It's like, you need this thing to go here, and you need this thing to go here. But there are different things you can do to get around it. Like, I'm sure there's a way around that room that needs the grappling beam. It just takes somebody with more skill at this game than I have. Like, somebody could probably bomb jump their way across the damn thing. I don't fucking know. Bomb jumping's pretty OP. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I just wanted to say OP at one point and just sound like I'm stupid. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I'm doing this without... I'm making a horrible mistake. I'm doing this without a glass of water nearby. So no wonder my throat's getting all right now. Also, another grappling beam room. Uh-huh. 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 What else is in here? Probably nothing. <laughs> death. There is death in this room. Oh. 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 Yeah, there's nothing. There's just death. And that's another thing you couldn't do in the original game, was angle your shots. So... And this is turning into sequelitis. <laughs> oh my god! That just happened. And now I'm in a lot of trouble. Actually. Alright. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Uh, good night, Matt. Matt is now leaving. Um, make sure to check out the sofa reviews with him and uh, him and Dave. Uh, funny stuff. They watch movies, review them. Uh, I think the paradigm they have is uh, Matt's the positive one, and then Dave's the negative one. Hopefully, I didn't get that backwards. I'd feel really horrible if I did. But uh, here it is. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Crocomire. This thing is really loud, actually. I don't know if you can hear me over top of the massive noise that's going on. There, I'll just do this. Yeah. Shit! Oh, that's gonna cost me. Aw, oh, come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Now I kind of feel bad because it's just it's just dragging out now. Uh, yeah, I would suppose it does have four eyes on each side. That's kind of the idea. Um, that, that was a speculation on Game Grumps whenever they got to it. That it's either got eight eyes or just four eyes on the one side. And that's like its good side. He's like, blah! Look at my good side! Because <laughs> you don't see his other side. Well, actually, you know what? I'm lying. Um, you do see his other side. I'm waiting for the sound to play in my in my ears. Okay, there it is. See? It's, it's viewing him from the other side, so he's got eight eyes, because that's, that's his other side's eye holes. So, yeah. That's one of the hard questions answered. Woohoo! All right. Now that we got that settled. Ding, 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 ding. Ha ha. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, motherfucker. This still relies on me having the thing that I do not have. Okay, so I'm getting teased about this grappling beam quite a lot. So hopefully I, I come across it soon. Because there's going to be an awful lot of backtracking to use it. Okay, it has been, uh, it's been two hours. I'm going to take a brief, like, two-minute break here so I can get a glass of water because it is very dry in my apartment. So, like, my throat's filling up with gross things, which I've been horking up this entire time. So I will be back in a minute, two minutes, whatever, and I'll continue Super Metroid. And I promise you, this is the part where everything goes tits up because... Uh, we're coming close to Meridia, and I'm really bad at that, so that'll probably be very entertaining, and we'll probably get a good chunk of that out of the way tonight. But, uh, but yeah, I'll be right back.